Hey, let's find out how much. Yeah. Here he is. Hi there. Hey, good evening, Mike and Sheree. Yeah, you know what? I think it's some snow for some folks around the area. Others, not so much. Probably enough in the worst case scenario, you're able to see a little bit in the grass. All right, let's have a look at radar right now. We've got showers pushing across the region as we expected for it to become increasingly more wet the deeper we got into the evening, and that's pretty much what has happened here the past few hours. We've got a pretty steady band of showers at the moment, really essentially drifting their way across the metro, starting from up here in parts of Butler County from around Oxford back through Hamilton. This is moving up towards Trenton and Middletown and time up towards Springboro there and the northwestern part of Warren County. Follow these showers back down Route 4 through Fairfield, through Forest Park here over towards Westchester, scooting in the direction of Mason, Sharonville. You've got some light rain showers right now back through Blue Ash and along the east side of the 275 loop through Claremont County, Batavia, back towards Amelia, Bethel, over towards Amersville as well. These are lifting up in the direction of Mount Orb and pushing into parts of Highland County. So Future cast pretty much on the money spot on tonight with those showers. Off and on showers continue through the night. We'll see a steadier wave of light rain develop in the morning by 7 o'clock, and that's around the time those temperatures begin to fall. And watch that rain snow line start in the northwest, move across southeast Indiana first, through parts of Butler, Warren counties, and then drop its way down towards the Ohio River by late morning, noon time frame. Afternoon, it looks like the rain snow line drops its way through the rest of northern Kentucky. But did you see that? It was there and then it wasn't right. So what I've been noticing this evening is that the window for snow has been narrowing and that leads me to believe that that's probably going to hurt our opportunity for seeing much if any accumulation around the area. And then it looks like as we get into Thursday night, it turns very, very cold for a frigid Friday. So here's kind of breaking it down into specifics for you. We've got showers overnight. It stays mostly liquid through late morning, noon time fray. You can always give or take an hour there. Temperatures begin to crash in the morning and this is a worst case scenario for someone picks up a slushy inch of snow on the grass or elevated surfaces and mainly we have wet roads. Obviously roads will be fine. They'll be simply wet accumulation again limited to grassy areas. If you do see accumulation, some folks won't even see that. So again, this is going to be a very marginal situation here, and I think for most of us more of novelty than anything else. But picking out an area that's most likely to see that up to an inch as a possibility, but probably less would be north of the 275 loop. While I think most of us stand at least a 50 50 shot at seeing a light dusting in a few areas. So tonight the cold air, the Arctic front on the move, teaming up with this storm system coming out of Texas. You can see the Arctic air tonight. It's moving across Illinois, soon to be pushing into Indiana. So we're mild most of the night here at 48 degrees right now with that southwest wind. Temperatures pretty uniform. This will be the warmest part of your Thursday here in the next 40 minutes at midnight. After that, temperatures continue to drop through the morning and they really drop most significantly around daybreak. So showers are here. We'll drop to 41 early tomorrow morning rain, then afternoon snow 48. That's going to be here in the next 40 minutes at midnight as temperatures will be dropping as you head out the door to school and work tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. So Thursday's a weather impact day down to 23 by Friday morning. Wind chills will be in the teens and Mike and Sheree, to be honest with you, I'm less worried about tomorrow and really more interested in the Monday to Tuesday time frame because that's when we get near record setting cold and the potential for more snow. We're not finished after tomorrow. All right, snow fine. If you're looking.